tension is palpable as this fight gets underway. And it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. And everything's landing with so much power. He's got him in the clinch once again. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And he landed the right hand there. He secures the double leg takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Top boys going down to the basement. Right hand on point. Ooh, nice right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch there. down late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Timed it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last blow. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Choi. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. And he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many points you take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Great punch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious.
obvious signs of swell. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice defense on the single leg attempt there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear it. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, God. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not bad. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Effective punch there by Anderson. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And a knee. Both guys landing big shots. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy. Now he's being masterful very from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh, nice big takedown. What a technique, what a takedown. Great high impact skill. You can feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's the taller fighter in relative ease there. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Anderson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Let's go. All right, side control now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. They continue to exchange. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. 
All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Nice punch there by Choi. He missed with that jab attempt there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Then both guys reach. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.